I still have love for Johnny. Yes. Is that still true? Yes. After everything? Absolutely. Absolutely. I love him. I loved him with all my heart. Enjoy the second part of Amber Heard's interview on today's show at NBC with exclusive insights. There's a text message where Johnny promises total global humiliation for you. Do you feel like that came true? I know he promised it. I testified to this. I'm not a, a good victim, I get it. I'm not a likable victim, I'm not a perfect victim, but... It's pretty clear here she's just trying to gain sympathy and make people in the middle believe that she accepts being truthful, that she has shortcomings, but she is still a victim. She's trying to gain the confidence of others that she is true by accepting a mistake and then under its shadow trying to convince that she is indeed a true victim. This is as close to the truth you'll ever hear from her mouth folks that she wasn't a good victim. She's never going to admit she wasn't a victim at all. I, when I testified, I asked the jury to just see me as human and hear his own words, which is a promise to do this. It feels as though he has. Okay, so as per Amber heard, Johnny Depp promised to ruin her life, but he did absolutely nothing till 2018 until she wrote that Washington op-ed. She was still getting movies and all these brand endorsements. It's just time that she accepts that she really got too eager to capitalize to make a name for herself at the peak of Me Too movement. Having been found liable, are you nervous as we are here today about what you can say now? Of course. I took for granted what I assumed was my right to speak. Again, she plays a sympathy card that she got punished for using her right to speak, for standing up for the First Amendment. It's just a vague try to have free right activists on her side. Do you feel like you could be sued again by him for defamation? I'm scared that no matter what I do, no matter what I say or how I say it, um, every step that I take will present another opportunity for this sort of uh, silencing, which is what I guess a defamation lawsuit is meant to do. It's meant to to take your voice. Now she is just claiming which hunt, that she is going to be hunted though we have absolutely no evidence of it. Johnny Depp just filed one lawsuit against her. Nothing else. The UK lawsuit was against the son, not her. And then she claims her voice is being silenced at a time when she is here giving an interview on one of the three largest news networks in America. Life had seemingly moved on and you decide to write an op-ed. Why did you do that? Because the op-ed wasn't about my relationship with Johnny. Yes, op-ed wasn't about Johnny. Clearly she had 10 other husbands. How could anyone say it was about Johnny? But it alluded to him. It, it was unmistakable. It, you know, what the op-ed was about was, um, you know, me loaning my voice to a bigger cultural conversation that we were having at the time. Did you worry? Gosh, I'd love to be a person weighing in on these cultural issues, but that's gonna stir this all up again. I obviously knew it was important for me not to make it about him or to do anything like defame him. Now this is it. There's no debate here, folks. She says she never wanted to do anything bad to Johnny Depp, nor was it about him. But she indeed went all the way to the UK to testify against Johnny. I had lawyers, teams of lawyers, review all the drafts of this. When you wrote this op-ed, it was the height of Me Too. Legions of powerful men being canceled, losing their jobs. Um, did you want that to happen to Johnny Depp? Of course not. Of course not. It wasn't about him. She never wanted any harm to Depp, but when he was caught in the midst of it, she never bothered to clear and say a single word that she wasn't talking about Johnny Depp. But the op-ed and the abuse alleged was at the heart of the six-week trial. Just pulls his arm back with the phone and throws it at my face. Hit me right in my, it felt like my, my eye. Heard testified that the final straw came after a violent fight in May 2016. Six days later, she filed for a restraining order, cameras capturing her as she left the courthouse. But Depp's lawyers convinced the jury Heard was lying about the abuse. 
Police, who responded to the 2016 incident, testified during the trial that they didn't see any injuries and that Heard declined to file charges. This was uh, a hoax, is according to his team. Why didn't I cooperate with the police? As I've testified before, and I will stand by until my dying day, I didn't want to cooperate with them. I didn't want this to be out. I didn't want this to be known. I didn't want to cooperate with them because I didn't want this to be... I didn't want to get him in trouble. If it was a host, I could have done that. Yes, exactly. She didn't want to do this, but ended calling 911 a second time just 15 minutes after they rejected her claim responding to her first call. But five days later, you went to court and it came out. Five days later, I made the decision to stand up for myself and protect myself. You can't get a restraining order in private, which of course I didn't understand the night when the cops were called. An employee of TMZ testified at court and said that TMZ was tipped off about when you were going to be going to the courthouse and on what side of your face bruises would be apparent. Did you tip off TMZ? I was going to say, you certainly didn't get tipped off by me or Did anyone in my... you know tip off Absolutely. TMZ? Why would they? Are no. You, you ask no one to do that? As I testified to before, it had nothing to do with me. Yes, it was Johnny who tipped off TMZ. Johnny told TMZ that my wife is going to court to get a restraining order. Just go and take images of her face with a bruise and post it on the news that I hit her while I will just sit her relaxed waiting for my life to end. There are different incidents that you testified to, and the DEP legal team would put up pictures of you publicly right after that or in the days following and saying, that why are there no, no bruises? Again, it's that thing. If you have bruising, if you have injuries, it's fake. If you don't have any, then, it's, then you weren't injured. You had promised to donate the $7 million of your divorce settlement to charity. It was revealed at trial that you haven't done so yet. However, they played a tape where you stayed on the air that you have donated it. Do you think that raised questions as to your credibility with the jury? I made a, a pledge, and that pledge is made over time by its nature. When and you say I donated, you know that everybody thinks that you've donated it, not that you've pledged it. So interviewer just destroyed her here because she clearly states that it doesn't matter what she meant. It was absolutely clear to the public that she has already given money to ACLU and Children's Hospital Los Angeles, and she was getting good press because of that, and she made no effort to clear it up. For the jurors sitting there, do you think they felt like that was you getting caught in a lie? Just notice now, after the rebuttal, she'll just try to divert the topic and play victim again. I, I don't know, because so much of the... I feel like so much of the trial was meant to cast aspersions on who I am as a human, my credibility, to call me a liar in, in every way you can. And That more. was the trial. It was a credibility contest. And That I, was it. This is another one of the examples where if you pull back and you think about it, I shouldn't have to have donated it in an in, in effort to be believed. I shouldn't have had to earmark the entirety of that in order to have. So now she tries one last attempt to clear herself and say that the question of her donating is irrelevant and should be used to judge her credibility. But the interviewer does a great job clearing it to her that issue arised when she publicly accepted praise and good press for it while not having done it. You shouldn't uh, have, but once you said you did. Right, which is where it was intended to go. Heard says she still plans to honor that pledge. How do you see your future now? I get to be a mom, like, full time, you know, where I'm not having to juggle calls uh, with lawyers. One day you may. Now this is another play by her to present an image of a single mother of a girl and saying she just wants to focus on her girl while what she is exactly doing is the opposite and still trying to defame Depp. Want to tell your daughter about this or have to tell your daughter about everything that you've gone through? What would you want to say? I think no matter what, it will mean something. I did the right thing. I did everything I could to stand up for myself and the truth. Heard and Depp's volatile relationship lasted just four years. Depp confirming his engagement to me on Today in 2014. Congratulations. Thank you. Are you excited? Yeah, very. She's a wonderful girl. She's, uh, 
She's sharp as a tack, you know, wonderful, you know, uh, uh, southern belle and um, sweet as can be and, uh, and very good for me, you know. On the first day of the trial, you issued a statement and part of the statement said, I still have love for Johnny. Yes. Is that still true? Yes. After everything? Absolutely. Absolutely. I love him. I loved him with all my heart. Yes, folks, she still has love for Johnny, but she can't utter a word when Johnny was caught in all this DV issue. She never bothered to say the op-ed wasn't about him. She indeed went straight to the UK to testify against him. If she loved him, she would have just said the op-ed is not about Johnny. And that was it. Everything would have been fine. But she didn't do that because wanted to destroy Johnny Depp and make a name for herself. And I tried the best I could to make a deeply broken relationship work. And I couldn't. I have no bad feelings or ill will towards him at all. I, I know that might be hard to understand or it might be really easy to understand. If you've just ever loved anyone, it should be easy. Please subscribe to our channel to support our work and to get interesting stories and updates buzzing globally. And also check out these recommended videos.